impact from the bench, hasn't it, Cole, for West Ham? Morales scoring and setting up what looked like a winning goal for Everton until Cole's introduction. 2-2 after extra time, so penalties to decide it. Well, I can let you into a little story about Joel Robles, because I have it on very good authority. Now, I know all goalkeepers will practice to some extent in training, facing penalties, but I understand that he is absolutely obsessed, Robles, that every training session has to involve facing penalty kicks. So let's see if his homework pays off for Everton. Deputising for Tim Howard, he's had an excellent game. He's had more to do than his opposite number. And as Matt said, it is that lottery of penalties. It's going to be penalty kicks at the home end of Upton Park. Question now of nerve, technique. And it's going to be Everton, it would seem, to take the first penalty. Kevin Morales. So very nearly the architect of Everton's route to the fourth round after a wonderful impact on this game off the substitutes bench. He'll step up to take the First penalty in the shootout against Adrian. First, the West Ham bubbles by going straight down the middle. And it would have been harsh for Ken Morales if he'd missed, because he'd been absolutely instrumental in what Everton have produced here this evening. Been excellent since he got brought on. Scoring that first goal, fashion in the second. A little advantage that you get from going first and scoring first. Mark, Mark Noble is West Ham's regular penalty taker. Scored one when these two sides met in a 3 2 Everton win in the Premier League last season. Sam Allardyce trusts Mark Noble. Can he live up to that trust? He certainly can. Not dissimilar to the Morales kick. I think Robles looks more intimidated in the goal. He goes the wrong way, but cool head, well slotted penalty. Here comes the Scot, Stephen Naismith, hoping to add an English FA Cup to a Scottish Cup from his days with Glasgow Rangers. Goal looks big from that angle, doesn't it? Not big enough for Naismith, big save from Adrian. No real confidence from Naismith. I was surprised to see him, thought Leighton Baines would be next up. Everything that a goalkeeper wants, I've got in his ear a little bit. Don't mind that, you know. I, really, I know it doesn't look very sporty, but I don't mind that. I'd do it far more if I was a goalkeeper, no circumstances. They get the reward with the save, and a comfortable save, really. Kevin Nolan, who came off the bench, assumed the captain's armband. Captain's part? Yes. 2-1 West Ham lead, two penalties each taken. Good example from the skipper, good strike on the ball. Robles hasn't been the right way for one yet. And he's had a big say in this tie. Lukaku, the late goal of Goodison Park, took us to this replay. Scored again tonight, thought it was going to be the winning goal. Needs to plant this one away. Very calm and assured. You need a, a strong ticker to produce a penalty like that. And Adrian's up to all sorts, very pointing. Favouring one side of the goal and the other. Andy Carroll. Finesse or power? Yeah, unlikely to be the dink down the middle, I would have thought. Perfect! A 
absolutely unstoppable, even if Robles had gone the right way there, he wasn't saving that. Well, they've got a real confidence about him, Swag almost coming up to take the penalties. Still, Robles hasn't gone the right way. You're talking him up at the start, done him no favours whatsoever here. Yep. Leighton Baines, West Ham 3-2 up, three penalties each have been taken. He's taken plenty in his Everton career. Succeeds, but only just top of the cheeks. Adrian very nearly kept that out. He's close for agility, Adrian. He's up and down that line. Moves early, and he knows it's a chance. Gets a hand to it. Payne's normally so assured from the penalty spot. It's another good, saveable height. Moves his side is still in it. 3-3. But West Ham have this Aaron Cresswell penalty in hand. Ooh, didn't need that. No, it's horrible, horrible for a player. And the ball's just sat down as well on the penalty spot. Can he hold his nerve? Oh, just flicked off the boot of Joel Robles. One successful penalty away. They may not even need to take it, West Ham. Everton have to score from this one. 4-3 West Ham lead. And it's Brian Oviedo, the Costa Rican. Roberto Martinez must watch and hope. Oviedo has to score, otherwise West Ham are into the fourth round. Does score, not the most convincing, but enough. Yeah, showed a bit of pluck, a bit of courage. Gets the job done. Is it going to be to win the game? 4-4. And here comes Stuart Downing with the chance to play Sam Allardyce and West Ham into the next round. No! Saved by Robles! Well, he saved the best to last the goalkeeper. Finally guessed the right way. Great save as well. It goes so early. Watch how early he's going. He's only ever going to his left. Stuart Down is not even looking up. Just concentrates on the strike of the ball. Delight for Evertonians. How are they still in it? It's painful trying to get through to the fourth round. Well, that was the start, really, of sudden death. We're in it proper now. Gareth Barry next up for Everton. Scores. And now the pressure. Way so heavily on West Ham. Come on, says Roberto Martinez. Great strike, great strike from Barry. Put through the ball, that's tough to save, even if you go the right way. 5 4 Everton. Carlton Cole with the responsibility now. He has to score to keep West Ham in the cup. And to score. 5-5. Five, five. Too sure about the body language, got the job done. Stones his body up, side foot. Looked a bit tentative as well, not sure he really believed in it himself. Feeling a relief, Didn't half a scuff on the ball too. I can tell you another tie's gone to penalties tonight. Fulham won 5-3 on spot kicks at Wolves as the Ross McCormack got Fulham a 120th minute penalty to take it to penalties. Here's John Stones. Oh, how on earth did that get beyond Adrian? That was a very nervy penalty from John Stones, but it counts. 6-5 Everton. Well, he's eyeballing the goalkeeper. <laughs> he can't believe that gets through because he's waiting for him to move. He watches him move and puts it that way anyway. Adrian almost concentrated on the player rather than the ball. Enna Valencia, who had West Ham 1-0 up in normal time. Has to score. And does. 6-6. Six, six. How much do you want a big trophy, Sam? He's talked it up. There's nothing would make him prouder. It's be taking years off him here. Well, now we're very much down to players who have no little or no experience of taking spot kicks.
It's Phil Jagielka, the Everton captain. Nervous look at Adrian. And scores. Nothing wrong at all with that from Phil Jagielka. Little bow from the skipper. 7-6 Everton. Right penalty. Side foot. Place it in the corner. Concentration required. Morgan Amalfitano. Third successive penalty. The word here for Robles. He's been booked, hasn't he? <laughs> yes, he was booked uh, during the match. And the referee was. Well, he had his, he had his cards out there, didn't he? I'm sure he's just marking the score off. Here's Amalfitano. Makes it 7 7. Well, very shortly the goalkeepers will be stepping up. Dives really early, Robles. He really moves, quickly commits to going one way or the other. Well, it is time to look to a higher office, isn't it? Seamus Coleman. It's seven all on penalty kicks. The Irishman steps up and scores with ease. And the pressure right back on West Ham again. How long can they withstand it? Another great penalty. This time not looking. The goalkeeper just opens his body up again. They'd be so proud of these players if they come through this, Roberto Martinez. The Arsenal loony, Carl Jenkinson next up. Oh, it's horrible for... This is the bit that you don't need, having to replace the ball. These are the bits that work against you as a player. Then it's just sat down, you see how it just rolls over on itself. Just doubt goes into the mind. Must score. Oh, and he does. I think most of the West Ham fans are wondering whether this was clearing the bar at one stage. It seemed to dip late on, didn't it? It didn't look like the trajectory was going over. It's a game going early. On we go, eight all. And now it's Joel Robles. Can he hold his nerve against Adrian? Oh. Thumps off the underside of the crossbar and out. And now he has to produce heroics. Immediately steps into his goal. With West Ham one penalty away from going through. And it's role reversal time. How do you like your drama? Adrian. One Spanish goalkeeper against another Spanish goalkeeper. Looks like he's going for power. Ole! And West Ham are through to a fourth round tie at Bristol City. It could have gone either way, but West Ham held their nerve several times. They had to score for the penalty spot to stay in it. And after Joel Robles thumped the underside of the crossbar with his penalty, Adrian emerges the hero. And for Roberto Martinez and Everton, it's an exit from the FA Cup. And Sam Allardyce, Matt Jackson and West Ham march on. I think they're lucky as well. They don't necessarily deserve it on the balance of the play over the 120 minutes. Got themselves such a late equaliser. Held their nerve. Going to be a big story for Adrian. They'll be gutted. Robles, it was excellent. In the match itself, do you know what? Sometimes it, I don't mind if it's the, the goalkeepers. They are resilient enough, they can do that. The one thing that they're used to doing, though, when they generally kick at a dead ball is that they kick it high. They want distance and height, and that's why that natural ability that they have to kick the ball a long way is not necessarily suited to taking penalties. Well, this is how close Robles came. Don't need any goal line technology there. That bounces. 
well out. And Adria, steely nerve, delivers Sam Allardyce a ticket into the fourth round. At the end of a highly charged FA Cup 